a little late, but better late than never. Real time. Real time, real time. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. I know it's exciting. It's a holiday time of year. We had 420 last week. Yeah. Oh, you know Passover. It celebrates the exodus of the Jews in biblical times from Egypt, and uh, nowadays it celebrates the exodus of the Jews from Columbia University. <laughs> yeah. When uh, when did Columbia become Kanye State? <laughs> 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 But campuses across the country are in chaos. They, kids have put up all these tent encampments on the quads, and they won't come out of their tents. The authorities don't know what to do. They don't know how to get them out of their tents. I know how. Uh, where do their phones die? They'll come out. Yeah. Okay, she's bragging that she shot and killed her 14-month-old dog because the dog was uh, oh, man. untrainable and a worthless as a hunter. Ooh, she's gonna lose a lot of Your boaters. Move, Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Joe Biden had a bitey dog, but he didn't take him in the rose garden and blow his fucking brains out. Okay. <laughs> in further animal news, bird flu is now in the milk. Me, gee. How it got in the milk is none of my business. <laughs> He has an environmental lawyer and the independent candidate in the 2024 president's election, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Oh, this guy. He's cool, but his voice, man. Hard to listen to him after a while. Waiting around. Oh, I guess he had a stroke. For a long time. Yes. I don't know if you could be a, an effective leader when you can't really talk with a certain voice like normally. Especially going up against someone like Putin. You've also said the greatest threat to democracy is not somebody who questions election returns. But Trump did much more than just question election returns, did he not? Is he not uh, responsible for actually scheming to overturn that election? And isn't that a fundamental difference? Yeah, but are you going to try to put me in a position to defend Donald Trump? No, I'm just trying to say, where, I'm saying, there, <laughs> no, what I'm trying to do is... <laughs> Trying to help you run for president is what I'm trying to do, actually. <laughs> but I've been around long enough to know that once the big tech firms know that they can get away with that, the oil companies will be back next in line to censor their critics. The coal companies, the chemical companies, the processed food industry, everybody out get in line. That's been happening for a long time already. Just like that movie about the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, telling that paint company, Dumont, I think it's called. I think. As you have made the case better than anybody, we are being poisoned in this country. I think you always had the oh, yeah. of our time. You were an environmental lawyer for most of your life. The people who were talking about the science were wearing masks outside, and they're 22. Okay, you know, so... I think uh, Bill Maher is a little too old to realize that if you see someone young wearing a mask in 2020 or 21 or even now, it's because of, uh, and uh, I can't say this word, anonymity. Oh, God. Anonymity. And then anonymity. There you go. <laughs> they love being able to wear a mask in public, anywhere in public. A lot of people feel that way. A lot of older people, too. Now, I've seen some um, seniors wearing masks outdoors, and I don't think that they're the ones who probably don't understand how those masks work. The, the, you know, the, I, I think those vaccines need to, we need to have, again, true double-blind placebo-controlled trials on that. There's 25% of Americans. I think any vaccine or any medication that's new that comes out, they put aside money for settlement for those who are going to get really bad side effects or even die. They're going to be in the minority. But it will happen because every human being is different. Your diet, your ethnic background, everything has to do. All of those things are contributing factors. And I think that's what determines uh, the outcome when it comes to these vaccines or, the, or these medications. There, was, there were 22,000 people in the placebo group, 22,000 people who got the actual vaccine. 
and the, the people who got the vaccine had a 23% higher death rate. What? From all causes at the end of that study. No could way. Could it be the disease itself? No, well. Because we know that. If it is, it, then the vaccine doesn't work, does well, it? Well, the, it, it's, it's early. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. That's not how it works. Not true at all. And I'm somebody who did not want the vaccine and didn't think I should have been made to get it. But it mm. does work. Is it, it, it all, it all, wait, I think wait, it wait all a minute, wait a minute. work in the sense that if you were many people who would have died because they were not in good health, it yeah. killed mostly the obese and the very elderly. Okay, well, those wait, people mean, should, are about they, those disease? people are alive today, I think, because of the vaccine. I, there you go. I think that's the truth. Does it also have complications? Yes. I mean, anecdotally, uh, I have not heard about one out of four people dying, but I know a no, lot of people who've had issues. Yes. Dying. But I... they could have had worse issues if they got the disease. That's the thing. Medicine is always. Hey, so, there you go. I just am for let's make it a case by case basis. 17 years, I'm not any vaccine. I just want good science. I want people should be able to make informed choices. No, nah, you want perfect science. Mandate. When you first came out, you were polling at 19%. That's dropped. The last one I saw was 11, and then one... Man. I mean, what is the path? These issues should be raised. I hope you're in the debates. That's what, I hope there's debates in here. Robert yeah, Jones. I'd like to see that, man. Thank you. Don Lemon. professor of marketing at NYU Stern that School. That guy hated. The author of the new book, The Algebra of Wealth, The Simple Formula for Financial Security. Scott Galloway. Yeah, he's cool. Don Lemon's with us. Why is it limited, and not limited? What, what is clear to me is that free speech is at its freest when it's hate speech against Jews. Ah, oh, come on. I know Bill Martin's going to love that, but a lot of people have been saying it, man. Uh, it's not anti-Semitism. It's not against Jews. Only and really about the money that's going towards uh, supporting that war and the support of the people of Palestine, not Hamas or anything like that. But people like to play these little language games. Every dirty, treacherous, ugly, and pernicious act happening in the world could be traced to the ugly name of Israel. That is just a level of rhetoric that I don't, uh, you're right, I just have never heard. That's one that. guy, one guy and saying I, that. But some of, some of the kids out there, a lot of them are Jewish kids. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them. That's are really kids. sad. I, it would be interesting for older people, especially older Jews and younger Jews, to sit down and figure it out. But it's very interesting to me this age gap. That doesn't really matter the age gap or what side you're on politically and everything. But most people don't like seeing a genocide take place for any kind of people. Does this have anything to do with finals coming up? <laughs> <laughs> It does seem like the these guys. <laughs> yeah, I live in these spaces. I'm well, I mean, just tell me what. Well, I'm like I'm often the only person of color in the room, especially in. There's only three of us spaces. here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but history has a, a way of repeating itself, yeah. and this is how it starts. In 30s Germany, a progressive community, a thriving gay community, academic, excellent academic institutions, and how it started was, you know, it was fashionable to wear a brown shirt and mock. Uh, students at the University of Vienna. This is how it stops. And quite frankly, I'm really disappointed more Jews aren't speaking out. Yeah, I'm, well. One reason I like to watch Bill Maher and stand-up comedy and his TV shows because he'll um, he'll go against his own team if he feels they're wrong. But he's not saying anything. He never does, though. That's why I wish he would bring people like uh, Kyle... I can I can remember his last name. YouTuber, he's really good. But he has brought on um, Crystal Ball. She's really good, man. Should bring her on again. He, he should have had her there instead of one, both of these guys, or at least one of them, and then bring on Crystal. But what Israel's doing, I think, isn't. Um, they call it all. Oh, Israel has a right to defend themselves. They do, but that's not defending yourself. That's uh, retaliation. You're not even retaliating against the ones who, who did the actual damage, who did the actual killing. You're going against everybody, like indiscriminately shooting everyone and everything down, including kids and women. That's something that, that, that terrorists do.
That's what that's what Hamas did. But you you you're stooping down to their level. But you you've heard it a million times before. Two wrongs don't make a right. Somebody like that should come in and just sit down right there and give a counter argument. Because all they're talking about is the, like the victimhood of Israel. Everybody. The Israeli government and Hamas has done some real underhanded, dirty tactics, man. And they're both wrong. Yes. He looks like a suicide bomber that's having second thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to no one is above the law? All you have to do is say if you're doing it. That's right. What's interesting is that they're actually arguing that Joe Biden could have Donald Trump assassinated right. and he would be immune. <laughs> I don't think he should do that, but I would like to put him in a dungeon. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> if you have the immunity. Uh, Pew reported that one in three men under the age of 30 hasn't had sex in the last year. Mm -hmm. 34 year old, 60% of them used to have at least one child. Now it's 27%. And here's a message to all young people. Nothing wonderful is going to happen to you on a screen. Mm -hmm. And that's right. They meant of that. Going out, trying to meet a woman or a man, putting up with the rejection, the humiliation, the endurance, showering for God's sakes, having a plan. <laughs> this, this, this shit is hard. This shit is hard. But again, another you know call out to young people. Romantic comedies are two hours, not 15 minutes for a reason. This shit is hard, and you know what? It's worth it. Yeah. Get out, meet people. Yeah. That's true, but there's blame on both sides. A lot of women wanted that uh, Me Too thing, and I, that was good, but some took it too far, and uh, a lot of men are, they don't even know how to approach a woman. What could you say? What can't you say? The Breakfast Club on the radio were saying that if you have sex with someone and you're both drunk, both of you are really drunk, and you have sex with her, that is the R word, S A. You know, that scares a lot of guys away. Like, man, a lot of people are used to meet and hook up and even get married. That's what Bill Maher said at at the workplace. Can't do that no more. So what do you what do you got left? And they're on their phone in the bar. In the bar. Oh also, yeah. Also, people meet. Where do you spend the most of your most of your time? It's at work. People used yes. to meet at work. There you go. I look, I was just saying that. I would not. Hit. Young people, trust me on this. Get out, drink more, make a series of bad decisions <clears throat> that might pay off. <laughs> I know we're being funny about this, but it has serious repercussions for society, does it not? Yeah, look at not Japan. Not. I mean, your 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 book talks about it, about like decisions people make and how they're that panicking the rest of their life financially. Isn't that partially our fault or, well, your fault? I don't have kids. You don't have kids. But the, we set. Yeah, that, his is, fault. This is a society <laughs> we, we set up for these kids. They can't afford, many young people can't afford to even own a home anymore. Right they on. They can't right. afford rent. They live in a gig economy. Everything wow. we do here is a purposeful transfer of wealth and opportunity from young people to old people. And they are enraged and they should be. Yeah. All right, I better stop you. Hello. Now. Thank you, guys. That was new fun. rules, everybody. Time for new rules, everybody. New Tucker Carlson is claiming that UFOs are actually spiritual entities that coexist with humans and have been living under the ocean for thousands of years. Someone has to ask him, did a dispensary recently open in your neighborhood? <laughs> Probably. Because this has all the earmarks of adult onset stonerism. <laughs> That's when an adult who has never smoked in their life walks into a dispensary out of sheer curiosity, and a few weeks later, they're living on the beach and talking about spiritual entities. <laughs> New rule, the sword-carrying woman on the new 50 Cent piece has to tell me, don't I know you from somewhere? Never oh, that's true. If Dorothea Lang took her photo today, it would just wind up in some stupid meme like, that feeling when the Trader Joe's lot is full. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And then she'd just be forgotten until BuzzFeed put her in a where are they now list between the success kid and scumbag Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, new rule, someone needs to tell the people who block traffic in the name of... Oh, God, God no people. Likes you. Nobody. And you're probably hurting your car. Yeah.
It happened last week in New York and San Francisco, Chicago, Seattle. They also blocked traffic here on the 405, but no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> What they did notice was this, that you have to be pretty dumb to think that the way to bring people around to your point of view is to make them late to pick up their kids from daycare. Man. And that's what most normies are thinking. I'm going to be late for work, something you protesters on the bridge seem to have the luxury of not having to worry about, which seems kind of privilegy. Yep. You can glue your hands to the street because your hands don't have to do any work today. <laughs> if you really cared about apartheid so much, which Israel does not actually practice, Arabs there vote, they serve in parliament, they sit on the judiciary. But we gotta stop them there. But no way are they equal. No way. From what I've read, man, they get treated like straight trash by the Israeli government. A gender apartheid of the most brutal kind. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Or do you just think you look cool in a cafe? Yeah? <laughs> Which is really just the new Che Guevara t shirt. Another historical figure you never researched and so think is a hero, but was actually a sadistic, racist monster fighting for communism, the worst form of government ever. But these are small matters. It might be true, but you could say the same thing about a lot of American presidents. A lot. A lot of uh, historical figures. And I read about why they call him a racist. And it was his, um, he criticized uh, Africans when he, when he tried to uh, arm them to start a revolution and they weren't disciplined or whatever the case may be. But he did fight with them once, once he got things in order. Look at me. Watch me. And if you like the way I'm fighting injustice, remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> also, <laughs> throwing stuff on paintings is just stupid. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. Last week, Google employees staged the sit-in to protest their company doing business with Israel. Their T-shirt said, Googlers against genocide, but they could have just as well said, look at me, see me. And Google did see them to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a Cajoni Award. All 28 of them the next day. Yes, Cajoni Award. Oh, coming to you guys yeah. Next year. There you go. That's what from the river to the sea means. Hamas would do that to Israel, but can't. Israel could do that to them, but doesn't. Oh, yes, they can. Yes, it is. It's doing it right now as we speak. And you know how you could find that out? Google it. <laughs> yeah. That's how we know that they're doing it. This um, fat guy from Florida <laughs> is the guy who looks like he's always jerking off two guys at once. There it is. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to do it. All right. Catch on the next one. <laughs>